Well, a very sad day in Manchester recently at the Tory party conference as Rishi Sunak announced what will ama eventually amount to a complete ban on the sale of cigarettes, a year-on-year -year rise in the minimum age um, for one to buy a packet of cigarettes legally, um, which means that someone who is 14 will never in their lifetime be able to buy a packet of cigarettes legally. It leads to this ludicrous situation where in 10 or 12 years' time, someone who is 26 is uh, refused the sale of cigarettes, but someone who is 27 is allowed to buy cigarettes. This is at a time when smoking numbers are already down two-thirds, uh, but similarly, uh, drug consumption, not just in the US now, but increasingly more so in the UK too, is ruining the minds of young people in this country. In the Scottish Government, legal drug consumption rule, uh, rooms have been trialled and tested and now introduced. And it was uh, rumoured that the UK government was looking at them too, but thankfully that seems to have passed. Even in the papers today, it was said that obesity is actually the biggest cause of cancer, particularly in women under 60. Um, and whilst Rishi Sunak likes to present this as a free vote in the House of Commons to satisfy the revolting Tory right, Labour have already promised to back the motion, so I have absolutely no doubt that it will pass through the Commons with ease. Tobacco duty raises uh, £10 billion a year to the Treasury, and already uh, big tobacco shares have fallen by approximately 2%. I have no doubt that people will always smoke, Smoking numbers globally, uh, even in countries like New Zealand and Australia with strict anti-smoking measures, have never dropped below 2 to 3%. So there will always be people that smoke. Uh, and I fear that this will just lead to an even bigger black market uh, that is unregulated, uneducated uh, and un unrestricted. You can think about it, it will make youngsters feel more rebellious and I actually suspect more keen to try uh, and, and introduce himself to smoking. And I think most significantly, it's symptomatic of a wider problem in this country of a big government, big state, uh, big nanny state government that ultimately uh, takes decisions away from its people um, and is not really that libertarian. And, and, and now, as I say, introduced by Rishi Sunak, I feel there is hardly a cigarette paper between this Tory government and the next Labour government.